affected communities and many Namibians gathered at Odhombudho Vindimba in the Omaheke region, the very place where von Trotter ordered the extermination or what is called in Oshiherero, Oshitiro Shinjanja. The day was marked by horse riding and traditional songs, Oushina, Ombimbi and Onderera, before those present queued up to view the skulls of their ancestors. This is the first time that these skulls have been brought to Odhombudho Vindimba since they were repatriated from Germany in 2011. Speaking at the event, Deputy Minister of Finance Maureen Hindambwende and her husband Dr. Kaire Mbwende, as well as Omaheke Governor Pionganate, concur with each other that although the 1.1 billion euros that the European country has offered is not sufficient, it is a good start. We can rise above our differences as Namibians and we shall rise. Let us know that we are making different efforts from different tables for the same cause. Dr. Mbwende further argued that there is no local or international legal instrument and jurisdiction to sue Germany, hence the prospect of success is only if the two governments can negotiate based on political, diplomatic and moral engagements. This two strong approach are not necessarily mutually exclusive. In fact, if any of them succeed, it will be to the benefit of all of us. If the diplomatic and political succeed, it will be to our benefit. And if the legal succeed, it will also be to our benefit. But unfortunately, I don't see a legal route, but uh, there could be some other uh, legal expert. I know I've read all the conventions, but I'm not aware of any court that has got the power to summon or subpoena the German government. You have a moral and a political case. Legal case, I don't know. Traditional authorities that were present, as well as political leaders, including Nudo President Ushua Mwinyangwe, SG Joseph Kawandenge, as well as PDM's Manuel Ngaringombe, rejected this, saying the proposed settlement agreement and joint declaration by the two governments undermine the value of lives lost and the effects of genocide on the livelihoods of the affected communities. It's not about me. It's not about you. It's about the history of this place. The deal that is on the table in the National Assembly is an insult to the intelligence of the Wabaherero and Nama people. It is an insult. I don't care. They thus say the motion should be rejected and negotiations should be revived inclusive of the affected communities. Let's lost even our, our income if we have to lose it. Let's lost our life if we have to lose it. But we cannot compromise on reparations. That is very, very important. And we shall not sign any deal in the Namibian parliament unless that, that, that deal is origin and very genuine. Both sides of the speakers, however, acknowledged that the divisions are only making it difficult to reach consensus. It was on this hill where German's General Luther van Trotter handed down an extermination order against the Ovaherero of Ambanderu and Nama communities a hundred and seventeen years ago. The hill has since been eroded by the effect of water and wind, but there are plans to restore it to its original height. Daniel Nadunian, BC News, Odombudo Vindimba.